Okay, hopefully this is working. I've had a little bit of difficulty trying to get this to go. All right. So there's been a lot of struggle to figure out um, how to find surface area, and most of you can't even remember how to find regular area. Area of a rectangle is the amount of squares that cover a shape. a shape. Now when we the way we do it is we do length times width. So L times W equals area. Okay. Now a parallelogram, we're still having the amount of squares that cover a shape. But our parallelograms are shaped more like this. And what we found is that this we call is the base. And then we have a height that is a 90 degree angle to the base. And so we do base times height equals area. Two of the similar measurements. All right, so I want you to find the area of this rectangle. You can use your calculator. So you should have length times width equals area. So you should have 14 times 6. And your area is 84. Now it's feet. Now when we have feet multiplied by feet, it becomes feet squared. And we can think of it as having this square corner, and we can also think of it because we're counting the amount of squares. That little two stands for feet squared. That's what that little two means. All right, the next part is find the area of the parallelogram. Well, we already said it was base times height equals area. So go ahead and use your calculator and find that area. Be careful, make sure you're using the correct base and the correct height. So the base on this is 12, your height is six. Six times 12 is 72. And because we're finding the amount of squares that fit in this parallelogram, it is centimeters squared. Remember our base and height make this perfect corner that's why we have this length and width. They make a perfect corner. Base and height makes a perfect corner. Okay, turn the page. How do we find the area of a triangle? Well, we find the base and the height. We multiply Then we divide by two. You don't have to write it exactly like me, but it has to be something like that, right? So base times height divided by two equals triangle area. Or you can write it as base times height times one half equals triangle area. So go ahead and find the base or excuse me, um, yeah, first find the base and height of this triangle and then find the area. Well, remember we want to find that perfect square corner and that gives us that base and height. So this is my base, this is my height. So we have 12 times four, divided by two. 12 times four is 48, divided by two is 24. So the area of the triangle is 24, and I didn't put any units on that one. Okay, find the area of the next triangle. Remember, you're doing base times height 
divided by 2. So you should have So even if your triangle is crooked, sometimes on the paper your triangle will be slanted, you are still looking for that perfect 90 degree angle. So we are going to have 11 times 5.1 divided by 2. 11 times 5.1 divided by, or excuse me, 11 times 5.1. I like to put equals in between just to make sure, and then divide by 2. 28.05. 28.05. Now, are the units regular feet or is it square feet? Well, remember, area is finding the amount of squares that cover a shape. So our feet are going to be square feet, which is represented by that little 2, meaning we have two numbers to be multiplied together. That's one way to remember it. All right, find the area of the third triangle. Base times height divided by 2. Go ahead and figure it out. So even if I turn my paper, I'm looking for this square corner. It's right here. So this is my height, and the base is only as long as the triangle is. So we have 3.5 times 4 divided by 2. Now some of you might have noticed that I'm using the x. When there's a decimal in the problem, I'll use the x just so it's not confusing. 3.5 times 4 equals 14 divided by 2 is 7. Remember, you can always use a, a calculator when you're doing area. And because we're finding the number of inches that cover the space in squares, the answer is squared. Okay, how do we find the surface area of a rectangular prism? Well, surface area means we find the area of all of the rectangles and add them together. So going to find the surface area of this rectangular prism. First we're going to draw the net. So remember we have a top and a bottom. We have a front and a back. And we have a side. And we have another side. So we're going to make I usually like to start with the top of the front. I'm going to say this is my front. So attached to that is going to be my top. And the top and the bottom are always the same size. I'll just put B or I'll put bottom. And the back and the front are always the same size. So I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. And then I have my side and I have my side. Then I want to make sure I can put my numbers on there. You could draw that a little bit larger. So I know it's seven long. I know this piece on the bottom is five and the three. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say this is my five because that's a little bit bigger. And then this is my three, which means this is my three because these two pieces, when you fold it, are going to touch each other, which means this is my five. If this is a 7, this is a 7, this is a 7, this is a 7. Go ahead and put the rest of the numbers on there, and then find the area of each of those pieces. So this 
uh, that's the front, that's the back. I forgot to label it. So, seven times five is 35. Seven times three is 21. If that's a five, that's a five. Seven times five is 35. Seven times three is 21. Three times five is 15. Three times five is 15. You need to add those all together. 35 plus 35. I can do 21. Oh, I know I have two 21s. I could simplify that and say 21 times two. And I have two 15s. I could do 15 times two. 70, 42, and 30. 70 and 30 is 100, so I end up with 142. And this is centimeters squared because it's area. So we found the area of each rectangle and we added them all together. Now some people do it straight from the picture. You could also do that. This is three tall, which means this is three tall. So this would be three times seven. Seven times three is 21. This is a three by five, so that's 15. And then the top is a five, because this is five, so this is five. Five by seven, so it's 35, which you end up with 35. 15, 21, you could add all that, 10, 11, 5, 6, 7, right? And then times it by 2, which gives you 142, because you need two of everything. All right. Find the surface area of this shape. Well, I have this over here. It's a two by four. Not a very good rectangle. Two by four. And then I have a four by three. So I know this is going to repeat because if this is right here, I have another one in the back. It has another two by four. And then this one has another one in the back. So there's another three by four. And then I have these pieces, which is a three by two. So I'm just gonna put it here. That's a three, so that's a three. That's a two, that's a three. So that's a two. And then I have to find the area of each shape, find the area of each rectangle. Is eight. This is 12, right? Four times two, four times three. This is eight again, four times two. This is four times three again, so it's 12. Three times two is six, and three times two is six. You can do it as eight plus 12 plus eight plus 12 plus six plus six, or you have 8 plus 12 plus 6, which is 26, and then times 2, which is 52. So the total surface area is 52, and it's units. These are our little units. You can say square units, or you say units with the 2, which means units squared. All right, we have one more. Now remember, you should be pausing your video as you go along to take your time. How do you find the surface area of a triangular prism? You find the area of all of the shapes and add them together. So here's our shape. It's already drawn as a net. 
So you need to figure out how to find the area of each one. Well, this first rectangle is a 5 times 10. And not everything on here is the same, so you do have to do a lot of work. The second rectangle is a 10 times 12. The third rectangle is how tall? Well, if this is 10, this is 10, because rectangles are the same on both sides. So this is a 10 by 13. And then we have the triangles. This triangle is 12 by 5. And we already reminded ourselves and practiced that a triangle is the base times the height divided by 2. So 12 times 5 divided by 2. And this triangle is exactly the same. This is a 12, which means that's our 12. 12 times 5 divided by 2. 50. Anything times 10 puts a 0 on the end. 50. 120, 130, 12 times 5 is 60, divided by 2 is 30. If you don't believe me, use your calculator. 12 times 5 is 60, divided by 2 is 30. And then you add it all together. So for me, I would go 250 plus another 50, that's 300, 330, 360. 360 square units because it's area. All right, the next one you're going to do on your own, and then you're going to check the answer when you're done, and if you don't have all the correct work, you're going to copy my correct work down. So we have a 4 by 5. And we have a 1, 2, 3 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 3 times 5. And then we have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 5, and then our triangle is a 1, 2, 3 by 1, 2, 3, 4. 3 times 4 divided by 2, and the same triangle on the other side, 3 times 4 divided by 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6, 12 divided by 2 is 6. Well, 20 plus 10 is 30, plus 10 is 40, plus 20 is 60, plus 12 is 72, right? 60, 72. 72 units squared, because that little 2 means squared. All right, good job.